Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll learn how to host a static website securely on AWS using S3 and CloudFront. Amazon S3 provides highly reliable and secure storage for your website files, while Amazon CloudFront acts as a global content delivery network, caching your content across edge locations worldwide. This combination dramatically improves your website's loading speed for users anywhere in the globe, reduces latency, and handles high traffic loads effortlessly. You'll also benefit with built-in security features like SSL TLS certificates and DDoS protection. Your website stays secure and highly available 24 seven. Let's get started. First, open the S3 service console. You can create a new bucket or open an existing bucket. In this demo, I have a bucket named Kevin's AWS Corner Website Demo pre-created. Go to the Properties tab. Scroll down to the Static Website Hosting setting. Click Edit. Choose Enable. Keep Hosting Type as Host a Static Website. Then specify the index document as the home or default page of the website. In this demo, I will use an index HTML file. Now, choose Save Changes to enable the bucket hosting a static website. Next, navigate to the Permissions tab. Ensure Block All Public Access is enabled. This is a crucial security measure since we want to prevent direct bucket access from end users. Instead, we'll configure a CloudFront distribution that will serve as a secure front end for the bucket, providing both caching capabilities and enhanced security. Now, you want to upload your website files, such as index.html, CSS, JS files, into this bucket. In this demo, I have an index.html file uploaded as the default page of the website. Now, let's create a CloudFront distribution. In the AWS console, open the CloudFront service. Click Create a CloudFront distribution. In the Origin Domain field, select your S3 bucket from the dropdown. In the Origin Access field, choose Origin Access Control Settings to ensure the S3 bucket can only be accessed from this CloudFront distribution. In the Origin Access Control field, choose Create New OAC. You can give the Origin Access Control a name and an optional description. In this demo, we will use the default name. Ensure the sign requests is enabled. Then click Create. Now you have the origin access control created. Scroll down to the web application firewall setting. You want to enable this security protection to keep your website secure from common web threats. We can keep the default values for all the other settings and scroll down to the bottom and choose Create Distribution. It will take a few minutes for the new distribution to be deployed by CloudFront. Once the distribution is deployed, we want to update the S3 bucket access policy to allow this distribution to access the bucket. Let's open this distribution. Go to the Origins tab. Select the origin we have created, then click Edit. In the middle of the page, we can see an information box where we can click this Copy Policy button to copy the needed S3 bucket policy. Now we switch back to the S3 bucket where we hold the website. Go to Permissions tab. In the Bucket Policy section, click Edit button. In the Policy Edit box, paste in the S3 bucket policy we copied from the CloudFront distribution origin access control, and choose Save Changes. Now we have everything configured. Let's test our website. Switch back to the CloudFront distribution. Copy the distribution domain name. 
Open a new browser tab. Paste in the copied CloudFront distribution domain name and add slash index HTML at the end of the URL. Then enter. Now you should be able to see your website hosted on the S3 bucket and delivered from the CloudFront distribution. And that's it. You've successfully set up an S3 bucket and CloudFront distribution to host your static website securely. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments below what other AWS services you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.